All right, welcome back to the official countdown of the top 10 best smartphones of 2022. And by best, <laughs> I mean <laughs> I mean most unit sales globally of the year. Number the year. one is the yellow iPhone. I mean, no doubt about that. <laughs> yeah. But 100%. Well, we 20, 2023 is lost years. already. Yeah. 100% of yeah, you. Yeah, we already sales. know how this year is going to go, but this is 2022. Um, so this is a, this is a, some data gathering from a site called Counterpoint, and they've actually broken it down into a pretty interesting chart, which is every single month, uh, we have the top 10 for the year, but then for every month, how many, where on that list each one of them was. It's rank, yeah. It's rank for the year. So it's really cool. So. Let's just, I think we're just going to put this chart on screen so you can see this real quick. And for our audio listeners, I'll just break it down. Our top 10 smartphones starting at number 10 is the Samsung Galaxy A03. Number nine is the iPhone SE. Number eight is the iPhone 14 Pro. Number seven is the iPhone 14. Number six is the iPhone 12. Number five is the iPhone 13 Pro. I'm sensing a trend here. Yeah. Mm. Number four is the Samsung Galaxy A13. Number three is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Number two is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And number one is the iPhone 13. This was surprising for a couple reasons to me. Number yeah. one, this is global. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, I mean, this is, I would expect this in the US, right? Mm, for sure. But yeah. there are a lot of other markets and a lot of other regions where I don't expect to see much on the premium iPhones like at all. Like a lot of countries, a lot of regions just don't buy premium iPhones like that. Um, and that also we don't see premium phones from other manufacturers that are competing with the iPhone. So then you look at the month to month and it gets even more interesting. Uh, obviously the iPhone 14 series didn't come out till September, so they don't have anything listed on, their, on this list until September. Uh, where the iPhone 14 Pro Max debuted at number one and was number one for September, October, and November, and then gave up its spot to the iPhone 14, um, and it stayed at number two. So the Pro Max is the one that's actually selling the most volume, and it sold so much volume in those four months that it became the number three best-selling yeah, phone the on the year. planet for the entire year. That's insane. That is a lot of volume. I mean, obviously, Apple sells the most volume right at the beginning of the of the release, but that's gigantic yeah um then the 14 pro sells a lot the 14 the 13 people are still buying the iphone 12 in such mass that in january it was the number four best-selling phone of the entire month in march it was and march in the world and Three april inch. and may and june and july it was all top five every single month people just buy iphone 12s regularly that's insane i mean the iphone 13 the <laughs> One, 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 <laughs> one, 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 two, four, four, four. So people That's continue ranking. buying the That's iPhone 13. For crazy. real. Crazy, yeah. Yeah. This is like also really disheartening for like Samsung. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because if you're Samsung, first of all, you wish that your premium phones would sell in the same mass and be your most popular phones. But clearly here, it's the A13 and the A03, which are like a $190 phone and a $100 phone selling the most volume. And number two, instead of buying a cheaper Android phone, people are buying old premium iPhones, right, iPhone which is 12. really interesting. Like people would actually go buy an iPhone 12 at what I presume is not a very steep discount from what we know about Apple's pricing. Yeah. Um, they'll keep it in the lineup, drop it by maybe 50 to 100 bucks, you know, when they put the like graphic on stage. So yeah, this is... It feels this crazy because like the amount of phones that Realme and Redmi, a and, lot, like, all of these guys make so many variants of all their phones, and you would imagine that they would ship like hundreds of millions of units. And in some markets, they they, they do, do. So, like in, yeah, like in India, they sell like crap loads. Yeah, in China and like Huawei I think that, phones. That yeah. is probably part of it, though. Is like because this is by model when Samsung and Realme and all oh. have like. 30 models, models and then those 30 models each year or That's whatever possible. like it's so much so There's one so interesting variants. thing about this graph is mm. between the third spot and the tenth spot is 1.7 percent to 1.1 percent so like yeah. 10 to 20 could be <clears throat> neck and neck and that's where we could see mm -hmm. a bunch of other samsung phones a bunch of other realme phones the other thing here though is the number one spot is five percent of total market share globally was the the iphone 13 yeah and then the next closest was half of that yeah, yeah. 
Apple totals about 15% of all global market share w- with these charts. So this this is a type of chart then that favors Apple because they have so few models yeah. mm-hmm. and that they're not the number one uh, global manufacturer of phones by volume. I mean, yeah. they might be like number three or something like that. Yeah, I think Huawei sure. surpassed them for a while a number of years ago, but now I'm right. sure they If it was by, by volume, I almost wonder if they could. E- they would even be top five now. I, th- I wouldn't be surprised if they were, but you think of like, Huawei, Honor, Realme, yeah, Samsung. Oppo. There's just, so many phones. Samsung, yeah. But they have so few models that in order to get a model at the top of this list, it's easier. It, it's easier when they have less models. So yeah, it's still like Samsung still has like clear flagships like S23, 23 Plus, and 23 Ultra are kind of like their flagships in the same vein as these iPhone flagships, but they didn't crack the one percent mark, so they didn't end up on this list. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it does still seem like Apple has a huge amount of market share. Like Samsung is a, is above them uh, with, let's see, Q1 of, let's see, Q4 of 2022. Oh, Apple was above them. I don't know. Yeah. They, they sold 70 million phones of Q4 in, of 2022 and Samsung sold 58.3 million phones. You know, also yeah. another stat that just keeps blowing my mind more and more is in the U.S. how dominant they are among young people. So, like, you think of like what's a dominating market share for a smartphone in any one country? You'd think like fifty percent for one company is pretty crazy. That's sixty percent yeah. is crazy. Seventy percent is like dominant, and then the numbers of like. Uh, people in the U.S. ages like eighteen to twenty four. Eighteen to twenty four. It's like no, it's like ninety plus. It's like an insane percentage of people who specifically get pressured into the iPhone and the ecosystem because not only do all their friends already have one, but their parents have one, and it's just like the communities have them. And it's just, it's just the phone in the U.S. Well, it went up from I'm trying to remember the years, but within a five year span between I think twenty twenty. 14 and 2019, it went from 40% of 18 to 24 year olds in the US owned an iPhone to yeah. 75%. This is just a recent article I pulled up from Phone Arena. According to uh, their survey, nine out of every 10 teenagers in the in the US own an iPhone, 87%. Nine out of every 10. 87%. Nine out of every 10. That's, That's insane. Most people yeah. in, in like that <laughs> age bracket, like 13 to 19 or whatever. So it's crazy. It's crazy how dominant they are in this one country, but then it is kind of eye-opening to see a global chart where it I think the, the global thing is what surprised me the most here because I know we talk about Apple a lot because we're U.S.-based, but I, we clearly get a lot of comments that's like, Apple's not big where I am. They're way too expensive or like import fees, all this stuff. And like, But I think it said they're most popular in U.S., U.K., Germany, France, and China. Mm-hmm. And like, if you just really can dominate a few markets, you really can dominate global sales like it's yeah pretty crazy yeah Yeah. i think that really shows the power of the ecosystem lock-in especially in that age group like if you're not able to use the thing that the social dynamics of the other people your age use you're going to get outcast and that's the worst age to get outcast in because you're trying to make friends you're growing as a person and it just it's a strong it's an ouroboros it eats its tail because it the more people that get pressured into getting an iPhone, then they become part of the amoeba that pressures other people to become part of their amoeba. And eventually exactly. the smaller amoebas just get completely eaten and it turns into one. And they giant. grow out into crabs. <laughs> <laughs> We're all back to crabs. That's a that's yeah. a deep cut. But yeah, I don't know. It's like it makes sense that sent for in the last five years the uh the market share has grown that much in apple's favor because they're the most ecosystem forward brand mm-hmm. and because they already have a dominance that's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and there's going to be a day where there's like 99 percent of teenagers have iphones in the US. that's that's always been a, an interesting question is like can any other brand crack this because you can obviously emulate the same pressures with your own ecosystem but you also have to get switchers so like Samsung can build a really strong ecosystem and they have like you can get a Samsung laptop that talks to your Samsung phone and has Samsung services and it has their own version of AirDrop and their own all this stuff like works really well together. Huawei does the same thing. Oppo does the same thing. But you also have to balance the the people who are already in a different ecosystem and get them to switch into your mm-hmm. ecosystem, which is way harder. Mm-hmm. So I think it's tough to like pick someone cracking this and like actually 
starting to turn over market share and get into what Apple's doing. Yeah. Well, in the fragmentation of the fact that like, yeah, you can have a Samsung phone and you can have a Samsung laptop, but it's actually a Microsoft laptop because Microsoft makes the software. This is true. And just the the level of, e of parity between those devices, if they're not made by the same manufacturer, is just always glitchy and buggy and never really works that well. Because like, what is Microsoft's incentive to make this random Samsung pairing app any good yeah and it'll you be know? a samsung laptop mm. with an intel processor exactly and the other yeah microsoft's os and mm -hmm. it's like you look across the aisle and it's an apple chip with an apple computer with an apple piece of software on it yeah. and like an apple phone of course they all work <laughs> great yeah. together like apple architects things within the hardware to be software features that work well with their other devices yeah you can't do that if you're fragmented as a device yeah so it's tough wow. anyway yeah, yeah. They're, they're pretty good at this huh yep <laughs> People always ask like, oh, wow. Well, there's always a, there's always the like, wow, you guys do a lot of iPhone videos. And then you look at, uh, <laughs> we were joking about the iPhone, the yellow iPhone being the biggest story of our time. Joking? <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, of course it is the biggest story of our time. But Thank it's like, you, you wonder first. why so many, uh, we were talking about the, this is another thing I could make a video about if I really got, if I really wanted to. Do I don't actually, I don't actually <laughs> want to. But about um, YouTube channels, because there are so many YouTube channels, there are now increasingly fewer ways to differentiate yourself in the YouTube ecosystem. And so you see like back when I started, if you were a tech YouTube channel, that was enough of a differentiator right. for you to be like, oh wow, you do tech, you do videos, but you do tech videos. That's really interesting, I haven't seen that. And now there's a bunch of tech videos. So now there's people who just do smartphone videos or people who just do software or just do productivity inside of tech. Yeah. And now we're so saturated that there's just like, what can you, latch on to to just you know sort of drag yourself above the noise and and all the saturation and yeah. i think a lot of people find that just making apple videos is just yeah well, people just are interested works. in apple there's yeah. always a popular apple product around we might as well just hook on to that we're like the menorah fish on the side of the shark <laughs> yeah. you know so i don't know if there's a video essay in there somewhere but that I think that's, that's even too saturated at this point. Apple channels? Now you need to unbox iPhones right. while jumping out of a plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. true because there's going to be a, a bazillion Apple videos. And, and if you're not on the first page of search, you might as well just, I mean, is Bing AI ever going to find you? Nope. Probably <laughs> Steal not. Steal your content. Yeah. Quick so. check, by the way. It's not a menorah fish. What is it? Remora. 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 Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe I got a like bio he was gonna kill me. I can't believe I got, I'm sorry. Thank you for Centaur that. Fish. Thank you for that. So, Yeah. It's a real thing. The iPhone turns out is a pretty popular phone. I can't wait to tell my grandkids, like, in my day, we had Android we phones. Had Android phones. <laughs> Shut up, Grandpa. It's time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grandma. Let's get you to bed. There's two Shut different charging <laughs> ports, and you had to pick one. Android's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed. No, the, there are ancient manuscripts that detail the Samsung Galaxy S23 there is an, Ultra. There is a, <laughs> it's like Book of Eli. <laughs> <laughs> there is a super, Samsung, super old, um, super old carcass of a video idea in carcass. the video board, which is, is the iPhone the most successful product of all time? And I started like writing down others that could possibly compete with it. One of them is... Slice bread. Well, so it has to be a company who's made a product. Ford, uh, and Ford. Then, I was gonna say, and Ford. then tech is in a, is tech is one of the things that iterates every year. So you have newer and newer versions of the product, so it keeps getting sales. Ford so Ford Model T doesn't really have a modern equivalent that I can say. Oh, it's one of the most like successful products ever. It turns out Toyota Corolla every single year is one of the best selling cars on the planet for a long time. Yeah. You could make an argument for that That's or F-150. F you could make an argument. Some others I saw um, Lipitor, a drug product that's just been popular and useful to people for a long time. Penicillin. And then some other random I... dark horses like the Harry Potter series or um, just another, ran just like a, a one-off thing. Pokemon, yeah. like, like one-off media entities, which are really interesting. But I ultimately kept going back to the iPhone. I think the iPhone is probably hands down the most successful individual product ever yeah i love harry potter <laughs> <laughs> I, I love harry potter it is like my thing i have tattoos for it and everything it doesn't hold a candle to the iphone <laughs> it's just like cultural impact was probably a higher spike for harry potter but than just the iphone yeah i don't know uh, i don't know I still meet people that are like, oh, I've never read the books. Oh, I've never watched the movies, blah, blah, blah. So maybe like, in its heyday, Harry Potter in its absolute heyday was like 
every kid it's like Pokemon were, was standing outside the store waiting for the book to drop, or yeah. at least just like the iPhone, yeah. <laughs> or at least knew about it. Yeah, right. Because yeah, it yeah. was like a it was a book instead of a hundred, three hundred, five hundred dollar thing. Everyone yeah. knew about it, but then it's got to get translated in all these languages, and it's got to be international too. I'm just like the it's iPhone. Like the iPhone. Is, yeah, but I'm looking I think at it's hard to like compare. It starts new economies almost. Like right, the iPhone started so many new sections. It of is like, it is the reason Apple is what it is, yeah. and then they have all these other businesses that are built on top of the iPhone being mm, popular, yeah. which is just like the iPad, Apps, the app all, store, the entire app store. Like all of that is yeah, from AirPods. iPhone. Yeah, exactly. I think it's hard to compare a product to like story-based entertainment too. Yeah, that I was think, like a dark horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like uh, the Apple Watch like, is the most popular watch on the planet. It's an iPhone accessory. Yeah. yeah. It's what yeah. it is. Yeah. So. That's true. Yeah, I think the, the iPhone. And the AirPods are like one of the biggest companies in the world on their own, right? If you were to map out all headphone companies, like Sony makes headphones, so we consider them a headphone company. Uh, Audio Technica makes headphones, among other things. Um, I think AirPods would be like a top five like headphone company. And Sony makes movies. Yeah. <laughs> like they make yeah. a lot of stuff. Nintendo and you is just bigger than all of Sony too, no, which um, is kind of. AirPods as their own standalone business are about as valuable as Netflix. Yeah. In its entirety. So I, I think they, if they were their own company, they would be actually they would one be of top. the biggest. Yeah. 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 It's insane. Yeah. And, and they're, they're just, an iPhone accessory. They're an Apple product. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the more you know, I think we've talked about it. I was thinking about making this video, but it also kind of felt just like if I make it's a whole tough. video about why the iPhone is the most popular the most successful product on the world. How much did they pay you? It just feels like I'm just patting them on the back like, congrats, guys, you did it. You yeah. really did it this time with the iPhone. <laughs> Take a victory lap. Make a yellow one. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> they wouldn't dare. So it is what it is. Now it's a podcast thought. I think that's appropriate. Pod thought. Hashtag. Yeah. All right. This is a, this is a clips outro. We're recording this now because we can't record anything else because there's this noise. Dying well. Some construction noise. It's probably a drill. But it also kind of sounds like a whale trying not to cry. Yeah. It's like it sounds like a speak like a squeaky wheel on a really large vehicle driving two miles an hour past our window. Non stop. We've been sitting here for like fifteen minutes trying to record this episode, and this is what we get to deal with. It sounds like the air is slowly being let out of a. 300 beached whale balloon a beached, <laughs> a beached whale's lungs collapsing on the <laughs> sand <laughs> this is awesome oh, that's actually that was really close Thank yeah who's <laughs> like, did you stop or did it keep <laughs> who's got perfect pitch what note is this g f <laughs> is for friends who do stuff together u is for you i think it's an a the <laughs> thanks else <laughs> and is for anyone or any thing time at all <laughs> <laughs> Down here, like and subscribe to put us out of our misery <laughs> 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 <laughs>